एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So we'll continue with this applications of double integral. So in this portion, we will discuss rest of the applications of double integral. Though there are many applications of double integral, but since we are taking a few of them, so uh, we have already discussed area in the first part, and we will discuss center of mass and volume in the second part of the video. Welcome back to S Chand Academy. I'm Dr. Neelam. So for details, you can refer to the book of from S. Chand Publishing. For the details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So we will uh, learn how to find out the center of mass. For this, we have we will take one example, which is written here, that a thin plate covers the triangular region bounded by the x-axis, the lines x equal to one and y equal to two x in the first quadrant. The plate's density at the point x y is given as delta x y, that is six x plus six y plus six. We need to find out the plate's center of mass. So for that, first we need to sketch the region of integration. So this is line x equal to one. This is y equals to two x. Therefore, this becomes the region of integration. This point is one comma two. So we will, uh, as we have told, that how to find out the center of mass for which we need to find out the mass first. So mass will be calculated by taking these limits for this density function six x plus six y plus six, and integration needs to be taken with respect to x and y respectively. Now we need to find out the limits for x. So we can we can take a strip either parallel to x-axis or parallel to y-axis. There is no issue in that. So if we take parallel to x axis it is moving from x equal to y by 2 to x equal to 1 and y is moving from 0 to 2 so y is moving from 0 to 2 so we can integrate it it has become uh, we need to integrate it with respect to x first so it is 0 to 2 so it is 3x square plus 6xy plus 6x And it is from y by two to one and dx. Sorry, dy. Because we have already integrated with respect to x, so it has been converted into a single integration. Integration can be taken quite easily. So we will integrate this integral. So that will become the mass of that. Then we need to find out the first moments, that is m x and m y, which will be used to calculate. So this will be your m. So we need to calculate m x by taking the same integration, zero to two, y by two to one, and this density is multiplied with y to find out the first moment of m x. So it is. Y six x plus six y plus six dx dy, and then we need to calculate this m y. So m y will be this integration. Limits will be will remain same. The only thing is that now density will be multiplied with x. So it is x six x plus six y plus six. dx dy so we'll calculate all these values and then finally we will find out the center of mass so center of mass can be written as sin x bar will be written as my over m and y bar will be written as m x over m so this the values of x bar and y bar will be giving us the center of mass So I have calculated these values. So this will come out to be fourteen. This will come out to be eleven, eleven, and this will come out to be ten because they are definite integrals. So they are going to give us definite values. So if we substitute these values for x bar, so it comes out to be ten by fourteen, and for y bar it is eleven by fourteen. 
So this becomes the center of mass for the thin plate. So that's how we have completed the question for center of mass. So now next application of this uh, double integral is the volume. We can find out the volume of the solid generated by this region of integration. So when we have this, uh, so a solid will be formed from by this region of integration when it is revolved about either x axis or y axis or with any uh, oblique line. So suppose this, uh, so the volume of a solid using double integration. So for a function fxy, if we need to find out the volume, so this z will be written as fxy, which is of course greater than 0. So then volume will be written as over this r. So this is fxy dx dy. So this will be giving us the volume of f over this region r. So that's how the volume will be found out using double integration. So we can understand it like this, that this function z can be, can be, it can be seen like this, z dx dy over this region r. So this gives us the volume over, uh, for, over this region r for this uh, function fxy. So we will take one question to make it more clear. So we will use this uh, question to find out, to make this uh, volume of solid more clear. So the question is that you, we need to find the volume of the solid that lies below the cone z equals to 4 minus under root x square plus y square and above xy plane. So for this we need to find out, we need to draw the region of, integra of, uh, region of integration first. So this, if, if I take this as x axis, this as y axis, this as z axis, so it will give us something like like this so the cone becomes like this okay so this circle is lying in xy plane so for that we need to put z equals to 0 so if we put z equals to 0 it gives us the circle x square plus y square equals to 16 so with the help of this x square plus y square equals to 16, we will find out the lower limit and upper limit of x and y, which will be used in finding out the volume. So the formula for volume will be as we have discussed. So it will be z. So z is being given in form of fxy. So it is 4 minus under root x square plus y square. And choice is ours that we would like to integrate with respect to y first or with respect to x first. According to the standard notation written here, if we would like to integrate with respect to x first, we will find out the value of x from in terms of y from this one. And this one we will, so if we see that value of x will be minus under root 16 minus y square to under root 16 minus y square, positive 16 minus y square and y is moving from minus 4 to 4. Similarly, we can write the limits for y also. So if we would like to integrate with respect to y first, so the, so the, the same integration can be, be written as minus 16 minus x square to 16 minus x square with positive sign with positive sign and value for x is from minus 4 to 4 and here the function remains same 4 minus x square plus y square under root x square plus y square and now since we are integrating with respect to y first therefore according to the standard notation we should write it as dy dx. So either of the form can be used to integrate the integral. Now we need to integrate and the resultant will be the volume of the solid which will be generated by this uh, region of integration. Uh, that's how we have learned how to find out the volume of the solid for this function f over this region r. Now we can calculate these uh, volumes quite easily, either of the form can be taken. So suppose we are taking with respect to y first or with respect to x first, so you, you know, we must know how to integrate such an integral. So uh, it's uh, for this we need to ha take uh, uh, integration by substitution. 
and that's how we will be integrating it. So I will tell you the final value of the integration and we'll leave the integration for you because we have already done a lot of questions for that. So the answer for this is 64 pi by 3 cubic units. So you can calculate it on your own and you can match your answer with this one. So we have learned how to do, do the applications of double integral in our daily life in finding out the area, center of mass and volume of the solids by using double integral. For more details, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing, details of which is given on this side and link is given in the description box. I hope you have liked the video. If uh, Please like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to uh, get, the, get the notification as and when new video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.